Hey girl, it's Sonia and welcome to my channel. I'm like in a silly mood, so sorry, forgive me in advance. Honestly, it feels like summer in here because uh, your girl is sweating. But before we get into this try on, make sure you guys like, share, and also subscribe to this channel if you have not already. And hit that notification bell while you're at it because a lot of you guys are not seeing my videos. <laughs> Why? For real though, because your girl be breaking her back making these videos and I'm just like, where, where are y'all at? But I'm really excited to have you here and let's get started. And as always, everything you see in today's video will be listed with links in the description box down below. And um, yeah, let's just jump right into it. The first thing I wanted to share with you guys would have to be a pair of shoes. These are from A New Day. And I was in the shoe section just taking a little peek peek and I always like, taking pictures, because I know I'm going to be back anyway, so I take pictures of everything that I'm in love with, and if I still am thinking about it the next day, I will return and go get them. So, is there a shadow on my face, or do I have a mustache? These were $20, I don't know where to put this box on my head, and I got them in a size 7.5, which is my size, but I typically would get my slides, sandals, or mules in a size, size 8, and I think they're really cute. They're like a chunky faux leather, but it's really soft looking and it is like a true nude. So I wouldn't think that these would be like on a peach side or on brown side, like it's like the perfect beige. It also has a little bit of like memory foam in the sole, which I really like because my feet are delicate, girl. Where is the arch support? I would show you them on my feet right now, but these things are crustier than, they're blacker than the asphalt outside, so I'm not even gonna, sh no. I gotta wash my feet, <laughs> sorry guys. I'm like, no ma'am. All right, so to get started, I wanted to share my shorts. I have a few of them, but these are the ones that I've been wearing quite often, and you guys have seen these in outfit posts or my vacation videos, just because they're like my favorite. They fit really nice, and I feel like they look even better after the first wash or two. They are considered high-waisted, and I just feel like they're like the perfect length where they're not too short and they're not too long. Next up, we have some shorts from Wild Fable. These are in a size eight. The waist is 29 inches and they are considered high rise. So I don't know if you guys can see, hopefully it's picking it up. Uh-oh, oh no. <laughs> okay, we're good. Every time I do try-ons, I'm always like so winded. I'm like, <sighs> I'm good, I'm good. These are really high-waisted, my God. I don't have a waist, so can be a little tricky, but I'm getting them up and it's all good. Can we do a wiggle? You don't have to do my little dance. Whoa, wait, do I have a back roll? They're not cheeky either. They kind of remind me of the one teaspoon shorts that come higher on the thighs and longer in the back. You get that like, almost like a, a beetle. <laughs> I still like them though. I don't think they're like too hoochie and they're kind of like, okay now. And they were only $15. So all of my fellow potatoes out there, look, kind of makes me look a little bit snatched, right? Yes, they do. Kind of debating whether or not I should get one size bigger or if they are going to be the kind of shorts that you have to like wear and try not to get them dirty so you don't have to wash them as often. You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm not like the only person who tries to avoid washing their jeans at all costs. This is the reason. Purple little shorts, purple little shorts, ow, 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 purple little shorts. Oh, they look like they could almost be identical to the purple ones, except for the distressing is a little bit higher, like on that short, my whole thigh was hanging out. So yeah, these are also from Wild Fable and I got them in a size eight. Oh, these ones are a little bit easier to get in. Aunt Flo is in town, so wearing white, a little stressful. Okay, so here are the white shorts. Again, there are that perfect length where they're not too short and not too long, where I feel like they're super cute and super flattering. Side note, I need your guys' help. I need a recommendation for self tanner where you can wear white without it rubbing off on your clothes. Please holler at your girl in the comments. I'm wearing so much white that it makes me look like I'm tan, but I'm, 
I'm really not. I'm glad you guys are like over there because you could probably see my entire circulatory system. So back it up. I know my shorts are like borderline tight. I wouldn't say too tight, but tight. Um, but I feel like if I were to get a size 10, they would be too loose. I want to blame it on the fact that I'm bloated. Okay. <laughs> Next up, we have another pair of shorts from Wild Fable. These are high rise Bermuda shorts. And I got them again in a size eight or 29 inches. And these look so much like Levi's. I was shocked. I thought they were because I know that Target also sells Levi's, but girl, these are so free. Let, let me just put them on. Again, with the button up. And this is another like Levi's touch as well. And because this panel is like on the stiff side, it flattens your belly as well. So if you have, you know, soft tum, these are perfect. They're still pretty short, like significant amount of length from your knee. So there's just more coverage. So if you like to conceal more, these are like the perfect cutoff jeans. I would definitely need to wear different underwear, but I need all of the security that I can. So get a little peek, there you go. I, I don't know, I just, I love even the shade. The color is perfect. And these shorts are $19. Next, I'm gonna be trying on all the pants and this one is from Universal Threads. It was $29.99, I got it in a size eight and the description on these jeans are vintage straight. So they are a slim hip and thigh and they just go straight down. For me, they hit me right around my ankle. Super duper cute. I love the shade on these jeans. I think they're super flattering as well. Again, we have the flat going on in the front, hopefully not too much in the back, but I think it looks pretty good back there too. And absolutely love these. These are a keeper. I'm keeping these for sure. I was honestly really apprehensive about these jeans because I was afraid they were gonna make me look bigger. I always try to stay away from white because it tends to make me look or appear larger than I am. And these are not the case. It also makes me look a little bit more snatched and that's what, <laughs> thank you, Lord. Okay, next up we have the Vintage Straight. These are a slim hip and thigh with straight legs and vintage stretch, which means probably not very much. And they look like this. I believe there were like a few different shades, but I went with the medium wash. These were also 30 bucks. And all of the pants and bottoms that I try on are going to be high-waisted. I know a lot of you guys had suggested that I try on mid-waist jeans, but honestly, or mid-rise jeans, I should say, um, they don't, they're not flattering on me at all. Like, I literally would have a big, like, roll hanging out. I'm just so soft here that I tried. I did try, because I will take your recommendations, but it just is not flattering. And I know it looks like a big, like, huevito or like potato right here, but that's just, it is what it is, girl. As a reminder, please, I'm counting on you guys to let me know what looks good and what looks terrible. We're girlfriends, so let me know. Next up, we have another pair of white jeans. These are also high rise straight leg jeans. They're $22 and they're from Wild Fable in the size eight. These ones have a little bit more stretch than the ones from Universal Thread. And these are pretty thin, almost to the point where I, like they're super comfortable, don't get me wrong. Um, they have more stretch than Universal Thread. Um, but I just, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's because I look like a painter because I'm wearing white on white, but I uh, don't know about these. These jeans are also from Wild Fable. They're in a size eight and they are their highest high rise jeans. What were they called? These are called their highest rise straight. And these are similar to one of my favorite jeans from Wild Fable, but they are in a blue denim, but these are black. And trust and believe when I say that they are going to look way better after you wash them because they kind of um, like shrink into place because right now they look pretty wide and kind of flat. These are really thin and super soft on your thighs. So it's comfortable. So if you're like my son 
and like me most of the time. If you don't like wearing jeans because they're too tight restricting and, and kind of like rub you wrong, these are amazing because they're super soft. And the last pair of jeans are going to be these ones here. They are the same style as the black ones, except for these are in like a vintage dark blue. But they look like more vintage blue because even the distressness looks like it's been dyed like beige or something. It's unique for sure. Again, with the soft material, it does not feel like it's going to be bothering me anytime soon. And these are super stretchy, which can come in handy if you got the wrong size. But if you were to size up, I think it would be a mistake because these are just so stretchy that it would probably look sloppy. I used to stay away from straight leg jeans because I just feel like it's like, you know, I feel like you look like you're doing this. All of the straight leg jeans that I got today are all cropped. They don't go down to the floor, which I have a handful of them that do hit the floor. So this is just going to be a nice addition to my collection. Next up, we have a sweatshirt that I purchased oversized. Again, I'm like a true medium at the moment. And this is actually an extra large. So just showing you guys the size reference. So this is how you could wear it, I guess. If you want to look like you have no pants on, but you could actually tuck this under your bra to give you like a cropped look. See how that looks? Or you can tuck it into your shorts. I just like the way that looks. I think it looks cute because it's oversized and very comfortable. And it is in this really beautiful orange. Hopefully the camera is not like washing it out too much, but it's a really cute one. And here is a top from A New Day. It is in brown. I didn't realize how high it came on the collar, so I think this shirt is probably gonna get returned. I like the color, I just don't, I don't know if I like the cut so hot. <coughs> I think I would enjoy this shirt more if this pocket did not exist. $10, and it came in a bunch of like spring colors, like a soft pale blue, purple, green, orange, I believe, and maybe even white and black. So $10, really nice material, and the cut is really cute as well. It's kind of like a boxy top, so it can give us huevitas, <laughs> or little potato girls, um, a little bit more structure because it widens out our shoulders, giving you the illusion of having like a waist period. I know, Lord, I know, trying to humble me, because you know I'd be naked in the streets, whatever. And if you guys noticed my earrings, these are also from Target. The link will be down below. But that's it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed this try on. If you'd like more videos like this, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see anything different, let me know in the comments as well. So thank you so, so much for joining me, sticking around until the end. And I appreciate you guys so much. It's been a struggle, but I'm getting through it and I'm so grateful for all of your guys' patience, especially those of you who are supporting my podcast. I'm doing my best because I'm a one man band, okay? One woman band, all right? And I'm getting it done. I hope you guys are too. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.